American University had bananas on campus seemingly targeting an African-American sorority. Then the University of Maryland College Park, a noose on campus. Now a racially charged item found at an Anne Arundel County Middle School. ABC 2's Nadia Singh live at Crofton Middle School with the details. Nadia? While well, Kelly, a noose was found here at Crofton Middle School around 11 this morning. Parents I spoke to are not happy and police need your help to figure out who did this. I was shocked when I got the email earlier today. I kind of did a double take and read it twice. Because she couldn't believe anyone could leave a noose hanging at Crofton Middle School, leaving her son with questions. He texted me when he got home from school and said that it was outside of his social studies class. Um, and so I guess my... My worry lays on how he feels about what he saw. What police and school leaders saw were these surveillance images. It caught two males on school property after hours. At this point, we're reaching out to the community and we're hoping that they can help us identify these individuals so we can bring them in, interview them, find out exactly what their motive was. School principal Nuria Williams notified parents with this letter explaining that a teacher noticed the noose, which was visible to students around 11 a.m. Thursday morning. Obviously, it's a very disturbing incident. Um, while we don't know the motives of the perpetrators, um, certainly a noose conjures up images of hatred and bigotry, um, and, and it just has no place in society, much less in a school setting like this. Administrators say the noose was removed within minutes of its discovery. Assistance will be provided to students, staff, or parents who want to discuss the incident. Crofton Middle School is a safe place to be, and it's a nurturing environment, and this incident should not take away from that. But for parents, it's still unsettling. This is a place of innocence. Children are innocent, and so, you know, to do something like that is just really, really um, disheartening that this is where we are in 2017. A disturbing story for sure, Kelly. Again, investigators are looking for two suspects related to this incident. Anyone with information is asked to call police. We're live in Crofton, Nadia Singh, ABC2 News.